Example four, check your progress. Again, a normal distribution problem. It says a vegetable distribution or distributor knows that during the month of August, the weights of tomatoes are normally distributed with a mean of 0.61 pounds and a standard deviation of 0.15 pounds. Draw the bell curve representing the situation, labeling all the marks and values. Again, part A would not be in uh, the, the homework or the quiz. They just straight up start asking you what percent of tomatoes weigh less than 0.76 pounds. Well, that's very difficult to answer if you don't see it. So I always want you to start by seeing it. So what's the first thing I'm gonna do? Again, I'm gonna start by marking all those percentages. We know that the end pieces were 0.15%. So that's the left and the right end. We know that the next regions was 2.35%. We know that the next regions on the inside were 13.5%. This is for every normally distributed curve and the closest to the mean was 34% for each of those regions. So the first thing I want you to do is label your percentages, and now I want you to get the tick marks. It gives us the mean. The mean is also the median, and also the mode is 0.61 pounds. What do you do with that? Now you're just going to add and subtract the standard deviation from every single one of those. So do that now for me. I'm getting 0.61. If I add 0.15, I'm getting 0.76 plus another 0.15 would be 0.91, and our last one we're getting 1.06. I'm gonna take that 0.61 and I'm gonna subtract 0.15 from every single one. I get 0.46, subtract 1.5, I get 0.31, subtract 0.15 and I get another 0.16. So there's all my tick marks. I started with the mean, I added the standard deviation and subtracted it. The percentages are always the same for every normal curve, so you can just leave it at that. Again, what I want to emphasize is something that I uh, said, when would we use the empirical rule? If you notice 0 0.76, when you look at this, okay, I'm going to look at 0 0.76, it is exactly one standard deviation above the mean. So what if I said how many weigh less than 0 0.73 pounds? Notice that is not exactly on one of these tick marks, one of the standard deviations. So if I said 0 0.73 pounds, I cannot, absolutely cannot use the empirical rule to solve this problem. I'd have to use something else. Okay, and that's something else that we're gonna learn in, in just after this, just after we do these problems. So how would you do it if your z-score is not a plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three? We'll learn just after this. But I really wanna emphasize the empirical rule only works when your value here is exactly on a standard deviation, okay? So let's look at this. It says, what percentage of tomatoes lay, weigh less than 0 0.76 pounds? Well, we found 0 0.76, and we're going to do everything below it. So we start with adding 0 0.15 plus 2.35 plus 13.5 plus 34 plus another 34. That's going to give us our total right there. Please add, add together. See what you get. I'm getting... 84%. And this one did say what percent, so it's very clear on this one. They don't want the quantity, they wanted the percentage. We could leave the answer as 84%. Let's look at the next one. It says in a shipment of 6,000 tomatoes, so they are giving us a quantity, so most likely they're going to want a quantity as an answer. How many tomatoes can be expected to weigh more than 0 0.31 pounds? So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to look at the chart. Here's 0 0.31, they wanna know how many weigh more than that, so I'm gonna add all those numbers together above 0 0.31, let's go ahead and do so now. So I have 0 0.31, above that is 13.5%, 34 13.5%, 13.5%, 2.35%, and 0.15%. Okay, so add all those numbers together, and I'm getting a total of 97.5%. Please double check my math on that. Make sure I added everything together properly. But that's the percentage and it wants the quantity. So what do we do? We take the percentage as a decimal. The percentage as a decimal is 0 0.975. And then we multiply it times the quantity, which is 6,000 tomatoes. Do that in your calculator now. 
please double check my math. I'm getting 5,850 tomatoes. Approximately 5,850 tomatoes would weigh more than 0.31 pounds. Let's look at the next one. It says in a shipment of 4,500 tomatoes, how many tomatoes could be expected to weigh from 0.31 to 0.91? So we'll do a different color on this one. How about green? So I'm looking from 0.31 to 0.91. Go up on the chart. Look at 0.31 to 0.91. Here's 0.31. Here's 0.91. We're going to add everything in between those two numbers right there. So let's start with our percentages. Our percentages would be 13.5 plus 34 plus 34 plus 13.5. That's giving me a total of, put that in your calculator, I'm getting 95%. Please double check my math on that again. And that's the percentage. So now we want to do the quantity. So the quantity, we're going to do it as a decimal, 0.95 times the quantity, which is 4,500 tomatoes. That's giving me a total of approximately 4,275 tomatoes, is how many tomatoes you would expect to weigh between 0 0.31 and 0 0.91 pounds.